The first case of COVID-19 was discovered in a veteran on November 1st who had gone to the hospital for a procedure. Routine surveillance testing the next day found 48 veterans and eight staff were also positive. By November 9th, three veterans had died. By the time federal infection control inspectors visited the facility on November 13th, the resident infection rate was 63% and the staff infection rate was 42%. It is no coincidence that cases within the home began to rise just as cases rose dramatically in the surrounding community. During a hearing by the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee, lawmakers questioned the head of the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs. You know, you have COVID running rampant through other counties besides LaSalle, but yet the veterans home in, uh, in Mantino and in Quincy have been able to uh, largely avoid the type of tragedy that we've seen in in LaSalle. This uh, virus attacks quickly. I feel that our staff moved as quickly as they could. The visit by federal infection control inspectors and a follow-up visit by the State Department of Public Health found several issues, including big challenges with testing and that results were not coming back in a timely manner, and breaks in infection control practices by staff including lax masking procedures and no social distancing. One of the things that I read quickly in the report was that there were several staff members who attended a Halloween party. We don't have evidence to substantiate that. That was word of mouth. And of course, you need evidence. Issues of short staffing were a concern, including whether staff was required to work even though they tested positive for COVID. We have found five instances where employees worked after uh, they had been alerted that they are positive. Notification late at night, they're the only person uh, there for that position. Um, if they went home, it would create a, another issue, and uh, they volunteered to stay. IDVA is now seeking an independent investigation to look into issues at the LaSalle Veterans Home that could take four to six months. And U.S. Senators Tammy Duckworth and Dick Durbin also are calling for that independent investigation. I should also note that the IDVA says that they have adopted all of the recommendations that were handed down in that report. And as a result, they are offering rapid antigen tests to each employee as they start work. And they have found several employees who are COVID positive but have been asymptomatic. Another interesting note that came out during today's hearing, we learned that 12 of the veterans who came down with COVID were actually given that monoclonal antibody treatment that President Trump was given uh, when he came down with COVID, and now they are all recovering very well.